color grading a vintage look this is going to be a lot of fun hey what's up guys welcome to another color grading video today we're gonna look at how to color grade a vintage look so here is what we're gonna be creating all right so there are so many things going on here so brace yourself for that first of all this footage was shot on the lumix gh5 8-bit color depth and the picture style i used is vlog l the first thing obviously is to color correct the flat look into somewhat a standard look and secondly we're gonna add our color grading thirdly we're gonna add some grain using film convert nitrate a plugin that you can find in your download resource folder or in the description below to make it look like it was really short on old cameras and in the final video i'm gonna add this sort of like rounded corner rectangle to just make it look more vintage now unlike other color grading tutorials that we have done so far where we are relying so much on lumetri scopes for color correcting exposure color and color balance on this one we shall use the lumetri scopes at the very end to just check if everything is okay so without wasting time let's get started so i'm gonna start by creating an adjustment layer and put it across all the clips then I'm gonna go to the Lumetri color, then creative section, and I'm gonna put a loot called Sylvanas Vlog, which will convert our flat picture style into somewhat a standard look, as you can see. And I'm gonna make the intensity to just about 38. Now I feel like I still need to add a bit of contrast to the image. So I'll go to the curves section, RGB curves, then grab the shadows and pull them a little bit down. I can see that the picture has become underexposed. So I'll select the clip itself on the timeline and go to the basic correction of the Lumetri color and increase the exposure to about maybe 0.5. Then I'll add a little bit of contrast maybe to around 20. Then I'll also adjust the shadows a little bit maybe to around uh, negative 16, 17. And let me just add some warmth in the image because it was shot during golden hour. So I'm gonna increase the temperature to about maybe four. Then I'm gonna go to the curves section. RGB curves, I'm gonna adjust the Luma curve, put a node here on the shadows and lift the highlights just a bit to brighten the picture. You can see the image is starting to look good. Here is the before and here is the after. That is great. Now, while I'm still here, let me correct the sky because it looks washed out. I want it to pop up a little bit with blue. So I will go to the HSL secondary. I'm gonna key out the sky and give it a bluish color. So I'll pick the set color eyedropper and select the sky. Then use the set color add eyedropper to select many portions of the sky to make sure that I have a perfect key of the sky. Let me check this color gray box so that I can see the sky better. You can use these sliders to make sure you have a perfect key. On the refine section, I'm gonna push the noise to somewhere maybe around 25 and the blur maybe to somewhere around 25 as well. Next, I'm gonna come to the correction section, then go to the temperature and reduce it all the way to maybe negative uh, 35. You can see the sky is already looking blue. Then I'm gonna go to the saturation and increase it a bit, maybe to somewhere around 127. And on the color wheels, I will push mid-tones slightly to the bluish direction. The sky is now popping up and that's exactly what I wanted. You can see the before and the after. Next, I'm gonna add another adjustment layer on top. Then I'm gonna go to the Lumetri color, creative section, and browse for another loot called Sedona Standard. And I'll reduce it to 50%, just to boost the colors in the image. This is already looking great. Next, I'm gonna add some more warmth to the image because of the grading that I'm going for. 
So I'm gonna add another adjustment layer on top. First, I'm going to add a look that I like to use all the time from Red Giant. So I'm gonna go to the Effects tab and type looks in the search area. Here it is, grab it and put it on the adjustment layer. Then go to the effects controls window, click on edit look. Then go to the grading head starts and select minimal grade head start and press OK down here. Next, go to Lumetri color and on the basic correction, I'm going to take the temperature to somewhere around 8. Then I'm also going to add a little bit of sharpness to the image. So I'm going to go to the creative section, adjustments. I'm going to increase the sharpness to somewhere around 30. Next, I'm going to add grain to the image so that it looks like it was shot in the 80s because now it looks very smooth. And to do that, I'm going to use a plugin called Film Conveyed Nitrate. What I'm going to do is add another adjustment layer. Then go to the Effects tab and search for Film Convert Nitrate. There it is. Then I'm going to drag and drop it on that adjustment layer. Then I'm going to go to the Effects Controls. Come to Film Convert Nitrate. On the Film Stroke, I'm going to use this FJ8543VD. Then Film Size, I'm going to go with a Super 16. If you want a lot of grain, you can go with Super 8 or Full Frame if you just want a very little grain. So let me put it on Super 16. Size, I'm going to make it 30. Maybe softness, I'm going to make it uh, 41. Strength and saturation, I'm just going to leave them at 100. On the color correction, color wheels, I'm going to try and push everything into the warmer direction. So I'm going to push the shadows a little bit warm. Highlights a little bit warm and mid-tones a little bit warm as well. The rest, I'm going to leave them as they are. The next step is to add a final look. So before I do that, what I'll do is to copy the Lumetri color on this clip and paste it on other clips. Then go through each clip and adjust it to match the rest. And since I was using adjustment layers, all the other adjustments have been automatically added to the other clips. Now to add the final look, I'll press Ctrl A on the keyboard to select all the footage and then right click, go to next, and I will name this one final look. Now we can add our final look here. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is to make the video look even more orangish. So I'm gonna select the video on the timeline, then go to the Lumetri color and on the basic correction, white balance, I'm gonna increase the temperature to somewhere around 22. Then I'll come to the color wheels and match. I'm gonna push all the colors towards the orange direction. I'm gonna start with the shadows, push them a little bit in the orange direction, mid-tones as well towards the orange directions, highlights as well in the orange direction. The other thing is there is so much red in the image. So I'm gonna go to the curves, RGB curves, and then I'm gonna go to the red channel and reduce the reds a little bit. Then I'm gonna come to the creative section. What I want to do is to increase the sharpness maybe to around 35 and vibrance maybe to around somewhere 30. Now there is so much saturation in the image. I'm going to reduce saturation maybe to somewhere around, uh, let's say 85 or 87. Now this is already looking vintage. Check the before and the after. I think the image is too contrasty, so I'm gonna add that faded washed away look. So to do that, I'm gonna add another adjustment layer. Then I'll go to the Lumetri color and creative section. On the look, I'm gonna add this look called the 70s. Then I'm gonna reduce the intensity to 30% and I'm gonna increase the faded film to somewhere around 25. And this is it. This is the vintage look that we are trying to create. The last thing I'm gonna do is to apply this border rectangle with rounded corners and it's perfect now. Anyways, this was the before and this is the after. 
this is just my taste guys you can adjust this according to how you feel and think it is all right i was trying to show you some different controls tips and tricks so that you can apply them when you are doing color grading on your videos otherwise i'll see you in the next color grading video this is it peace